It's time to take a look back at the last week in Bluefield College Athletics. First, women's basketball. A couple of big road games this week. First, on the road in Cleveland, Georgia, Wednesday night, taking on Truett McConnell. Fell down 7 0 early, but Jabe McDaniel buried the three to get the Rams on the board. And then a couple possessions later, Shelby Key from the left corner. Another three. Rams back within one, down 7 6. Trying to take the lead on the next possession, Abigail Peck gets the pass, goes off the glass for two. Bluefield went ahead 8 7 and did not trail again. Later in the half, Destiny Tolliver gets the pass, works down the right side of the lane and puts it up for two. It was a 16-0 Rams run to take a nine-point lead. Nearing halftime, Abigail Peck, just ahead of the shot clock buzzer, laid it off the glass for two to cap a 20-2 first-half Rams run. In the second half, Mariah Mazik got the steal, laid it up at the other end to push Bluefield's lead up to 11. The Rams went on to defeat Truett McConnell 62-55 on Wednesday night on the road. Jade McDaniel led the Rams in scoring with 17 points on 5 of 9 shooting from outside. Mariah Mazik had 14 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists for Bluefield. And Shelby Key finished the night in double figures with 10 points. On Saturday, Bluefield hit the road to face number 23 Union in Barberville, Kentucky. Rams down by three in the first half, but Jade McDaniel pulls up for a deep three and hits it to tie the game at 23 all. And then on the next Bluefield possession, ball worked down in the block to Destiny Tolliver, spun around to the left, made the layup to give Bluefield its first lead at 25-23. Move ahead to the second half, Mariah Mazik hit the baseline jumper to stretch the Rams' lead, and then Shelby Key finds Destiny Tolliver for one of her seven assists on the night to push the Bluefield lead to 55-51. On the next trip, Key finds it's McDaniel for another three-pointer to stretch the lead to 60-53 with under three minutes left to play. Then Mazik drives down the left side of the lane, dishes out again. McDaniel, three, good. Bluefield led 65-58 with 1-12 left to play, but Union fought back. With two seconds left on the clock, Lydia Nash banked it in off the glass to tie the game at 66 all. Shelby Key with a three-quarter court heave well short. Rams and Bulldogs went to overtime. Under one minute left in overtime, down by one. Mariah Mazik got the layup and the foul. She made the free throw. Bluefield pushed the lead up to two, but with 24 seconds left for Union, Angie Lawrence drove, spun, got the layup to tie the game at 74-74. The Rams would get the ball back with the shot clock off and under 24 seconds left to play. And again, it's Mazik down the right side of the lane with the contact, rolls it in plus the foul. She would make the free throw. Bluefield led by three, fouled on the inbound pass. And Union went one of two from the line, couldn't get another shot to go. The Rams beat Union on the road 78 to 76. Bluefield shot 59% from the floor in the second half, 50% in overtime, and went five of three from outside in the second half. Mariah Mazik led Bluefield with 19 points and 10 rebounds and came up with some big shots down the stretch. Shelby Key had a big first half and finished off with a good, well-rounded game. 18 points, 8 steals, 7 boards, and 7 assists. Jade McDaniel tied a season high with 18 points, going 4 of 6 from outside. Bluefield returns home for senior night on Wednesday. The Rams will face Milligan at 5.30 p.m. You can catch coverage live on the Rams Digital Sports Network. Bluefield men's basketball also with a couple of road games this week. Rams on the road on Wednesday night facing the Bears of Truett McConnell in AAC play down in Cleveland, Georgia. Bluefield trailed 3-0 early. Terrell Owens cuts the baseline, goes up and under for two to get the Rams their first two points of the game. And then Bluefield got its first lead of the night. Alonzo Howard with the offensive rebound and stick back. Bluefield jumped ahead 5-3. Next possession for the Rams, Devin Page in transition over the defender and off the glass for two to stretch the lead to four. And then later in the first half, Terrell Owens cutting down the lane, fights through traffic to knock it down. Rams led 9-5. to five. Owens again, active in the first half, gets the long rebound, takes off in transition and takes it all the way himself for two. Bluefield jumped ahead 11-7. to seven. And then a few possessions later, Joseph McLean from the right side hit the three-pointer. Bluefield led 14-7 to seven over Truett McConnell. Ended up leading 16-7, to seven, but the Bears went on a 12-3 to three run to take the lead. David Campbell in transition laid it up. Truett McConnell stepped ahead 19 to 17 opened up that lead even more all the way up to 10 after Rudy Diaz hit a three-pointer in the final minute of the first half Rams trying to chip away 
Final seconds of the first half, Mike Collins steps back for the three and buries it, but the Rams could not close the gap in the second half. Bluefield falls 73-62 to on the road at Truett McConnell. The Rams were led in scoring by Terrell Owens, who finished the night with 11 points and 8 rebounds. Robert Pinkston chipped in 9 points off the bench. And then the Rams went on the road facing the 20th-ranked Union Bulldogs in Barberville, Kentucky on Saturday night. Early going, Mike Collins steps back for the three, and he knocks it down to get the Rams on the board. Bluefield trailing by one in the first few minutes. A little bit later in the first half, the lead stretched to six for the Bulldogs. But Joseph McLean steps inside the three-point arc, and he hits the deep two to bring the Rams back within four. A couple possessions later, Collins steps back from the wing, and he hit another three to bring the Rams back within one point, down nine to eight in the early going. And then Collins down into the paint for Alonzo Howard, spins to the left, goes back to the right, off the glass for two. Bluefield jumped ahead 12 to 11, about five minutes into the start of the game. But... Union came back. J.D. Tucker buries the jumper from the baseline to put the Bulldogs back ahead 16-14, and Union did not trail the rest of the way. Collins misses the three. Off in transition go the Bulldogs. Dominique Hagens finds Gerard Newby, who throws it down in transition to push the lead to nine. Union rolled to an 82-67 win over the Rams. The Bulldogs clinched the AAC regular season championship, cut down the nets after the game. Union has won 15 straight, now 24-4 on the season and 15 and 1 in the Appalachian Athletic Conference. Bluefield dropped to 10 and 13, 7 and 10 in the league, and the Rams are now 2 and 11 in games played away from the dome this year. Mike Collins did have 17 points on Saturday night, went 5 of 7 from outside. Bluefield returns home on Wednesday, final game of the regular season. It's senior night at the dome. The Rams face Milligan, tip off scheduled for 7:30, and you can watch it live on the Rams Digital Sports Network. Bluefield softball in action on Saturday at Georgia Gwinnett College for a doubleheader against the Grizzlies. Rams down 2-0 in the top of the fifth inning of game number one, but Laura Craven with a double over the head of Brittany Buns to set up a possible scoring chance for the Rams. She ends up moving over to third, and later in the inning, Casey Holcomb squares down for the squeeze bunt. Ball not handled by Ashley Bikey, the pitcher for Georgia Gwinnett. Craven comes in to score, and the Rams are down by just one, but Georgia Gwinnett answered with three more runs. The Rams trying to get a rally started. Tiana Macis with a double into left field, but Georgia Gwinnett scored eight runs over the fifth and sixth innings to cap off a 10-1 win in the first game of the doubleheader. Move ahead later in the afternoon to game number two. Aaron Haley leading off the game slaps a single into left field. The Rams trying to jump ahead of Georgia Gwinnett in game number two. And then Tiana Macis came up later in the inning, a single into center field to give the Rams a 1-0 lead over Georgia Gwinnett, but... The Grizzlies answered with nine runs in the second and third inning to open up the lead. The Rams trying to start a rally in the fourth inning, and Victoria Peach came up to the plate, drove a two-run single up the middle into center field. Bluefield trailed 9-3 to three at that point in the top of the fourth inning. A little bit later in the fourth, Morgan Stevens at the plate, hits a bouncer to the right side of the infield. First baseman fires home, but catcher Alyssa Fields didn't keep her foot on the plate. On the fielder's choice, the run comes in to score. Everybody's safe. The next Bluefield batter, Aaron Haley, grounded into a fielder's choice to bring another run across to score. The Rams were down 9-5 to in the top of the fourth inning, but in the bottom half of the inning, Georgia Gwinnett plated seven more runs to open up the lead. Rams trying to keep the game alive in the fifth inning. The ball gets past the catcher fields. Caitlin Pennington comes in to score from third base. The Rams brought it back within 10, but the next pitch would end the game. Bluefield falls in game number two, 16-6. Bluefield drops to 0-4 on the young season after being swept in the doubleheader at Georgia Gwinnett this weekend. Macis in game number one went 2-3 for three with a double and 2-3 for three with a run scored and an RBI in the second game of the day. In that second game, Peach had two RBIs for the Rams. Bluefield returns to the field on Wednesday, home opener for the Rams softball squad. Bluefield is set to host Emory and Henry in a doubleheader with the first game starting at 1 o'clock over at Graham Rec Park. Bluefield baseball also in action this weekend. The Rams were on the road in South Carolina to face Benedict in a doubleheader on Saturday. Chaz Miller for the Rams picked up his first win of the year in game number one. He pitched six innings, gave up two unearned runs in that game. Tyler Timmer hit a grand slam for his first homer of the season. 
and Sawyer McLam went one for two with a double and two RBIs. In the second game of the day, the Rams cruised to a 12-3 win. Alex Haas improved at 2-0 this season. He had eight strikeouts in that game. Chris McAllister hit his second home run, went two for four, also had a double and a walk. Jacob Schober went two for three with a double and two RBIs. Garrett Schilling worked two walks and finished the afternoon with three runs driven in. On Sunday, Bluefield and Benedict were scheduled to play again, but that game has been listed as a Benedict forfeit. The Rams are now 4-3 and three on the 2015 season and are scheduled to take on Berea this weekend. Four games up in Kentucky on Saturday and Sunday. And you can catch live coverage of those games right here on the Rams Digital Sports Network. For more information on all Bluefield College athletics all year long, be sure to visit bcrams.com.